I'm a fitness trainer. But more than that, I'm a real person with experience in the gym. My experience showed that I, and many others, could lose body fat and build muscle in a targeted way. Just remember the every day is upper body day meme. That said, the belief that spot reduction is impossible became really widespread. Watch this video to hear me debunk it. Also, this isn't your usual rant, you can find the newest research discussing this in the video description. Section 1. Where I talk about the myth of spot reduction. In my honest opinion, spot reduction became regarded as a myth because researchers followed the existing data too much and didn't pay any attention to the massive anecdotal evidence around them. So, for years, the prevailing wisdom in the fitness community was that you couldn't target fat loss in specific areas. This idea was backed by numerous studies that seemed to confirm the impossibility of spot reduction. Researchers conducted various experiments, such as having participants do thousands of sit-ups or intensive single-leg exercises. But these studies consistently reported no significant difference in fat loss from the targeted areas. This led to a general consensus. Spot reduction doesn't work. People were told that no matter how many crunches they did, they wouldn't lose belly fat specifically. Instead, fat loss would occur evenly across the body. However, this widespread belief ignored the countless personal experiences and anecdotal evidence from gym goers who swore by targeted exercises. Many people, including myself, noticed that working certain muscle groups seemed to make a difference in those areas. These observations were often dismissed because they didn't fit the scientific narrative. But the studies I mentioned didn't take into account something very important, meaning how the body burns fat. Section 2. How Fat Is Burnt Let's jump into some science we already know as factual, like the process of fat mobilization and burning. To effectively lose fat, your body needs to go through two primary steps, mobilization and oxidation. Fat mobilization is the first step where fat is released from the fat cells into the bloodstream. This process is triggered by hormones like adrenaline and noradrenaline, which bind to the fat cells and signal them to release stored fat. However, blood flow is essential now because it will transport the mobilized fat to the muscles where it can be oxidized. The more blood flow a particular area receives, the more effectively it can mobilize and burn fat. Basically, mobilized fat has to be burned off as energy if you want to lose fat weight from a certain part of the body. Oxidation or fat burning occurs in the mitochondria of your cells, where the fatty acids are converted into energy that your body can use. This understanding of fat mobilization and the role of blood flow lays the groundwork for the idea that if you can increase blood flow to a specific area, you might be able to enhance fat mobilization and burning in that area. And here's where the traditional research failed. They didn't include cardio exercises to promote blood flow and belly fat burn. This is the basis for the newer research suggesting that targeted fat loss or spot reduction might be more feasible than previously thought. I'm talking about a 2023 study that I included in the video description. The study shows that certain workouts can indeed target belly fat by following these principles. In the study, the participants were split into two groups, the control group and the belly fat mobilization group. Well, the second group burnt 2.5 times more belly fat by doing a mix of cardio and ab-specific exercises, meaning crunches and torso rotations. This isn't even the only study researching this. Another prior paper from 2017 showed that combined resistance and endurance exercise can help people burn fat from specific areas of their bodies, like their arms or legs. Besides, a slew of other studies I mentioned through my other videos show that heat can specifically help people burn visceral body fat. But again, any trainer or person who's been in the gym for some time could have told you this. Section 3. How to Actually Lose Belly Fat I personally always noticed solid results on belly fat by using the Tabata interval combination. Four minutes of an intense, full-body Tabata interval, followed by four minutes of core work, focusing on the abs, obliques, and lower back. As a quick note, if you're struggling with belly fat, I can build a personalized workout plan for you as well. You can check out the video or the channel description for more info. But the 2023 study I mentioned uses a different technique. 27 minutes of zone 2 running on the treadmill, plus 16 minutes of crunches and torso rotations done 4 days per week for 10 weeks. As a side note, I have an entire video on the benefits of zone 2 running. 
This approach is great, too, because steady-state cardio increases blood flow to the abdominal region. Besides, cardio uses the aerobic energy system, which uses fat cells and oxygen as fuel. And then, the ab-specific exercises help oxidize the belly fat that's been mobilized from the midsection area. Conversely, I like Tabata because it uses both the aerobic and anaerobic energy system, which means it also helps you burn more calories. The reverse combination can also work. Basically, you first perform the ab exercises and then immediately follow this with cardio. However, keep your heart rate up and continue the increased blood flow to your abdominal region. Section 4. Broader Implications This research is reshaping how we think about fat loss. It suggests that by strategically combining different types of exercises, we can, in fact, target stubborn fat areas more effectively. And this isn't just about aesthetics. It's about optimizing our workouts to achieve better health and fitness outcomes. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever tried targeting belly fat or any other type of body fat? What were your results? Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let's keep the talk going in the comments.